So this is the PV Windsor Studio Combo Amp. It's a it's a single channel amp. It's all valve, um, and it's got all the characteristics you need in in one single channel, which is good. There's three key features to this amp that PV wanted to put across. The first being that it has a great feature called a recording output, which is a, a direct line from an XLR lead going straight to your recording device or PA system. It's actually what I'm using right now to uh, mic up and get the sound for this video, as it just works great and it's simple to use. It emulates having a strategically placed microphone in front of your speaker without all the hassle. The second being a power sponge feature, uh, which is a kind of attenuator. It uh, essentially lowers the volume of your amp, but doesn't affect the tone. So it's good for quieter recordings, playing in the bedroom, smaller gigs, and uh, just not overloading the tubes when you don't need to. It's also good for getting the distortions at lower volumes. The third feature is that you can swap out the power tubes in this amp. It's made to be versatile in the studio and allow you to get the tone you want. So you can use any octal power tube you want, whether it be in an EL34, which is what it has stock, or a KT88, a 66, anything you like. It's just diverse. So on board on the amp, we of course have a free band EQ, which is quite standard, being bass, middle and treble. They all work pretty well, they make different sounds. Uh, there is good tones in there, you just got to find them. Um, it's pretty good. It's very responsive as well, which is quite nice. Uh, next being, you essentially have three volumes with this amp. It's quite exciting and tricky at first, but it's amazing once you get used to it. The three being, one which is your preamp volume, which is essentially your gain for this amp. You'll kind of crank this up and lower the others and that will get you your distorted crunch growl tones, uh, which is just wicked. You then have uh, a master volume towards the end, which is, well, a master volume. It makes what you've got louder um, and you can use that strategically with the preamp volume uh, to kind of squash it and make it more distorted. But thirdly, which is the magical one, is you have your spell power sponge feature um, which is amazing because, as I said before, it's great for midnight recordings or just keeping quiet. And with those three, you can get the different kind of distorted tones, you can keep it laid back, you can crank it as hard as you want, but still have it loud or quiet depending on what you want. <laughs> This amp also has a boost function, uh, which kind of just it just kicks in more welly to the amp. Uh, it's good if you've got a guitar solo and you just need a bit more grit, a bit more volume. It, it just adds a punch to the sound. It's a pretty good feature. Um, it also has a reverb tank in it, which is it's beautiful. Um, there's a lot of reverb to be had in this amp. It's like, yeah, you end up playing in a church. It's quite nice. Um, it's very atmospheric very nice sound, it's not too cloggy, it's not too blocky at the bottom, it's quite it's quite nice, it settles in the mix well. You also have an effects loop, uh, which send and return, which is useful if you've got delay pedals, reverbs, um, I guess you could put modulations in there if you wanted to. It's, they're good because they keep out of your signal chain with other pedals, for instance, uh, you don't
don't really want them to be around distortion pedals because then you start distorting reverb um, and it, it, it can be dirty and so, well some people like that sound quite a few people like to have a more pure sound of it going through the effects loop <laughs> has a high gain output input sorry and a low gain input. The high gain input is useful because it's it's more sensitive. Um, it's useful for lower output instruments or if you've got pickups for a lower output than say something like an EMG um, it will pick it up more nicely and get the clarity and the whole character of it. So when I first started playing this amp when I first got it um, it literally screamed to me that it's a blues amp. It's a blues man's amp uh, but just wants an amp that just does the job, gets a bit of crunch, and you can just front with pedals. And it's exactly what it does. It takes pedals so well, I've used it for everything. Whether it be clean tones and then using my own distortions, or using the distortions on here and just colouring the sound. It just works really well, and uh, it's a very versatile amp. It's definitely a good buy. If you haven't got a lot of money, you're getting into valve amps. Um, you quite like the blues and rock genres, but you also want the cleans. It's just a simple amp to use and it's a, a great adventure trying to find different tones with it. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this video guys, I hope it was helpful and uh, I hope you get yourself one of these because they're pretty damn cool. Have a good day, I'll see you soon.